The Yellowstone Volcanoes Observatory defines a supervolcanoes as one that has erupted more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of sediment, like the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. The eruption was categorized as a magnitude 8.0 on the Volcanoes Explosivity Index, a real system for categorizing volcanic eruptions. But I've seen the term applied to volcanoes that have never experienced an eruption of that magnitude. Poland gives the example of the Campi Flegrii volcanoes in Italy. The volcanoes is part of a 125-mile area called the Flegrian Fields, which was created by the eruption of VEI 7.0 about 2 million years ago. The famous Mount Vesuvius, which destroyed the Roman city of Pompeii in 79 AD, is in the same region. As a result of the powerful eruption of VEI 7.0, Campi Flegrii is often labeled as supervolcanoes. But based on the accepted definition, Poland says it never technically qualified. Similar to Yellowstone, this large caldera system has experienced large eruptions in the past, but never qualified as super eruptions. There is always the possibility that Campi Flegrei experiences a VEI 8.0 eruption and holds the title of Super Volcanoes. However, there is no indication that this will happen. When a Super Volcanoes erupts, the impact will likely cause global destruction and end humanity as we know it. That's Poland's third reason why he doesn't like calling Yellowstone a supervolcanoes. This shows that when a very large volcano erupts the impact will be detrimental to humanity. This means that volcanoes only experience very large eruptions, even though the more common type of activity is smaller lava flows. Yellowstone has experienced several dozen lava flows since the last major explosion. Yellowstone's last major eruption occurred about 640,000 years ago. That's when this mountain was called a supervolcanoes, because its eruption had a VEI strength of 8.0. Meanwhile, Yellowstone's last eruption was in the form of a large volume of lava flow. There are no dramatic explosions, and the lava moves less smoothly than a used liquid plumber bottle. One of Yellowstone's attractions, for volcanologists and other scientists, is its dynamic behavior and the constant changes they can observe. One big eruption is a bit boring by their standards. For Mike Poland, calling Yellowstone a supervolcanoes is basically the same as calling Yellowstone a supernational park. This may sound impressive, but it doesn't mean anything. 